Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Safe is Vaping? Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Did you know that most people who vape are teens? E-cigarette or e-cig companies market vaping as a safe alternative to traditional smoking. Well, vaping is safer than traditional smoking, but it is still dangerous to human health. We wanted to summarize the effects that vaping has on the body's cells. We reviewed scientific studies about vaping and the human body. We found that vaping causes inflammation of the mouth and lungs. It also damages DNA. Long-term inflammation and high levels of DNA damage can cause cancer. Some e users have reported mouth cancer, but not many yet. That is because cancer formation takes a long time. We will need more studies to know the long-term effects of vaping. But current studies show that using e-cigarettes is not safe. Introduction. Smoking cigarettes is dangerous for human health. A traditional tobacco cigarette contains more than 4,000 harmful or potentially harmful substances. That is why some smokers have switched to e-cigarette or e-cig vaping. In fact, the original purpose of vaping was to help adults quit smoking, but only 6.7% of adults use e-cigarettes. Most e-cig users are teens. As of 2019, about 30% of high schoolers reported that they used e-cigarettes. E-cigarettes produce an aerosol by heating a liquid, sometimes called vape juice. The liquid contains many chemicals, including nicotine and flavorings. Users breathe the aerosol into their lungs. E-cigarettes contain less harmful substances than a traditional tobacco cigarette, but they do still contain carcinogens. Carcinogens are substances that can cause cancer. Also, e-cigarettes contain nicotine. Nicotine is not a carcinogen. But when the body metabolizes nicotine, it can change it into a carcinogen. It is also very addictive. We wanted to know how vaping affects the body's cells. There are many studies that focus on how vaping affects different types of cells. So, we read them and put together a summary of the negative health effects of vaping. Here in Figure 1, you can see e-cig vaping devices come in different shapes and sizes but they all contain vape liquid and a heating device. In the image, you can see several devices that are available. From left to right, they are e-pipe, e-cigar, large tank devices, medium tank devices, rechargeable e-cigarettes, and disposable e-cigarettes. Methods. We reviewed more than 100 scientific papers. They focused on the effects of e-cig vaping on the body's cells. We then summarized their findings by the type of effect. The three main effects were inflammation, DNA damage and repair, and cancer formation. Results. Vaping has different negative impacts on the body's cells. Inflammation. Inflammation is a natural response by the body. The immune system uses it to defend against bacteria, viruses, and cell damage. Inflammation is a short-term response. If parts of the body become inflamed for too long, they can become damaged. Vaping causes inflammation in the user's mouth and gums. This inflammation causes a gum disease called periodontitis. It causes the gums to pull back and eventually the user's teeth may loosen and fall out. Vaping also causes inflammation in the lungs. That is because the chemicals cause damage to the cells. In one study, scientists exposed lung cells to e-cig aerosols and traditional cigarette smoke. The cells exposed to the e-cig aerosols had more damage. Also, the cell damage was greater when they used flavored e-cig aerosols. DNA damage and repair. Some vaping chemicals change when heated by the vaping device. Others change when the body processes them. Sometimes these chemicals bond to the DNA in the body's cells. When the chemicals attach to the DNA, they can cause damage. 
Other vaping chemicals cause breaks in the DNA. There is a link between damaged DNA and the formation of cancer cells. E-cig users who used sweet, mint, or menthol and fruit-flavored vape juice had the highest levels of DNA damage. The body has a way to fix the DNA, but when there is too much damage, it cannot fix all the errors that form. Studies found that vaping caused reduced DNA repair in lung, heart, and bladder cells. Cancer formation. As of 2019, there were three cases of oral cancer reported in e-cig users. One study also observed the effect of e-cig aerosols on animal lung cells. Both flavored and unflavored aerosols caused cancer to form. Here in Figure 2, you can see different ways that e-cigarette vaping damages DNA. The top image is an example of healthy DNA. Below that, you can see that vaping can cause damage in two ways. On the left side, you can see vape chemicals attaching to the DNA, and on the right, you can see DNA that has been broken. Looking at the figure, how is the DNA damaged by the chemicals inhaled when vaping? Discussion. E-cig vaping is dangerous for the human body. Our review showed that vaping causes inflammation and DNA damage. We also noted that the amount of DNA repair decreased. Long-term inflammation and DNA damage can both lead to cancer formation. Vaping changes the mouth's microbiome. That means there are changes in the number and type of bacteria in the mouth. These changes cause bad breath and most likely cause gum inflammation. Some of the e-cig chemicals prevent the growth of the bacteria that work with the body to keep the gums healthy. These same chemicals promote the growth of bacteria that inflame the gums. One of these bacteria is carcinogenic and prefers environments high in sugar. So, e-cig vape juice with sweet flavorings makes a good environment for this carcinogenic bacterium. Our review also showed that nicotine and nicotine-free e-cigarettes cause DNA damage. We know that e-cig users have more DNA damage than non-users, but we don't know how much more damage. That is because e-cigs have only been in use for about 15 years. There is still a lot to learn about the negative health effects of vaping. That is because cancer formation is a long-term health effect. More information about the effect of vaping on cancer formation will be available in the next 10 years. But there is already evidence that vaping is causing changes to the body's cells. These changes can lead to cancer formation. That means many people, especially teens, are at risk for preventable cancers. Conclusion. Vaping may be less harmful than traditional smoking, but it is not safe. To stay healthy, do not use regular or e-cigarettes. Instead, eat healthy foods, exercise, and spend time with friends. These choices will help you stay physically and emotionally healthy. And check in with your friends to make sure they know about the dangers of vaping. Help them make healthy choices so that you can all enjoy a healthy future. Thank you for listening to this recording. This work has been adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Cells, published on October 31st, 2023. Research conducted by Emily Auschwitz, Jasmine Almeida, and Claudia D. Andel from the Burnett School of Biomedical Sciences at the University of Central Florida. See the full list of affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.